Things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. Although both and fragmented, they hold the key to remembering the way we were. Oh, I hope that wasn't important. spray of perfume and it all comes flooding back. I sprayed a 
fallen out of the perfume that the next of kin provided on the back of the armchair. Although there wasn't any verbal acknowledgement at this stage, I found that the patient seemed to be calm throughout the entire session. I'm going to wash it off tomorrow. And see if there's a direct difference, and if so, I may use it as an aid in future sessions. in our patient, or at least it's, it's part of what's causing it. Destroy it any way you can. Once the task is done, I'll be able to extract you from the memory and place you in another. me by, burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful, so fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Why can't I hold on anymore? Please. Restorer? Can you hear me? Ah, oh, there you are. I'm sorry. What you've just experienced was a relapse of our patient's condition. Hopefully you didn't cause too much damage whilst inside. Now, the objective as stated is to locate Jean's artifact. At this present moment in time, we don't know what this item is. We need to gather information from important memories our client can still understand. Their core memories. I'm used to it. 
Try to make sense of all of this. Explore whatever you can, and I'll keep in contact with any new information. You found one. A memory fragment. Good work. This must be Jean's representation of them within her mind.
I must say, I am impressed, Restora. You've done such wonderful work this evening. Just between you and I, there's a lot riding on this restoration. It's our last week of funding, and, well, I haven't got any usable results. You're my last hope, and it's very important that I... Sorry, we succeed. You know, I am sorry about before, the relapse and all. Just remember, it's incredibly important that we trust each other. Don't worry too much about her brain. I'll be monitoring it on my end to ensure that no severe damage is caused during your visit. Tone, the rhythm, just listening to that melody would never get old.
the mind can be like a blank canvas, or a picture can be left incomplete for a generation, only to be finished years later in life. The blacksmith was a vital part of the British town for a very long time, but with industries growing and taking over, they had to find other ways to survive and remain in trade. This particular smith became well known for his sculpting and other decorative metal work. But apparently he became a recluse after the industrial decline and destroyed all of his work. about an old colleague of mine who experimented with brain cell transplants, taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another, an attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. Ten people, a small wedding, but moving country means making a new life and new friends. Every town has its own May Day celebration, but many people travelled from around the British Isles for the annual Pinwheel, Maypole, Morris dancing competition. Such a beautiful English tradition, and a rare thing these days.
Can you smell that? Someone's baking. doing a very good job, Restorer. Although I should mention, the board are going to be monitoring our progress tonight. So failure to retrieve the artifact is simply not an option.
Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. Hello? I don't think anyone's here. Hello? crow with an injured wing, just lying there on the beach. I imagine this was almost a second home to most of the fishermen who lived here. There was a strong reading when you walked in. There's a story to be told here. I think you better keep looking. remain focused in there, Restorer. I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on you to succeed. I've been let down far too many times before, and I won't stand for it again. What? Yes, I asked you half an hour ago. No, I want you to inject it now. I don't care. They have clearly stated the procedure's intention, so do as I ask. 
Sorry about that. I need to go and sort out an incompetent individual, as per usual. I'll be back shortly. You're not leaving footprints in the snow.
glistened in the shop window. A music box with the most beautiful decoration. A great man once worked here. Part philosopher, part engineer. His radical new ideas changed the course of history forever. Let's find out what this has to do with anything. back to the real world until our goal is reached. Don't worry about what's happening on my end. I'll make sure you're safe. As long as you help me, I'll help you. And we'll get through this in one piece. Now, when you're ready, come back to the case and let's access the first core memory of this evening.
I can see from the evidence you gathered that the memory showed strong emotional readings that point to a pleasant memory. Then again, even happy memories can be locked away for good reason sometimes. There are at least two areas close by that hold memory fragments. These should lead us to more core memories and hopefully the artifact. From my notes, it seems that you'll need to follow the river further up the valley and see what we can access there. We best get to move on. I love the sound of the river. Can we have a go on the rope swing? At least we don't have to go all the way up there.
asked my management to shut off the machines for the night. They're unaware that you're in there, so if you don't hear from me for a while, please don't panic. I promise I'll be back soon. Nobody likes visiting a hospital. It's so sterile and straight to the point. This is one of two entrances into the mine. It looks as if it's in some state of disrepair. Every search on the web brings me up more of the same. A great disaster happened here. There was a huge event of some kind, and then all of the information seems to dwindle. I'm trying to find some more information for you.
last to arrive 10 minutes early and still having to wait for 45 minutes.
the other person seems to be caught through first. The waiting room slowly empties, patient by patient. originally made. It seems that the symptoms were realized very early on because they were so severe. In a way, it was lucky that we got to it so quickly, but sadly the condition is growing at an alarming rate. The validation is going well. We're really beginning to express emotions on a regular basis, and having the family here means that there's always a source of stimulation, and of course, someone to listen. The 
flash results back. It's what we thought. The early stages of dementia. If we act now, there's a strong chance we can delay the onset of symptoms. I'll be honest with you. Treatment is expensive, especially without the right kind of insurance. But with the right care, there's a strong chance of you having a relatively normal life in the short term. But have similar cases where patients react positively to all of your treatment. out of contact for a while now, but don't panic. I'll be back shortly.
One more day and then freedom. One more day to the smell of the sea. One more sleep and then home. soft brown paper with a light inlay from where the ink had been printed. Today, this ticket was as precious as gold itself.
One year and eleven months. Home seems so far away now. as easy as taking an order. Sick twice in one morning. This time it must be right.
was the oldest brother, and the most mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told, and Harry was too young to argue back. Did you ever hear the story of the knocker? Andrew was the oldest brother, and the most mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told, and Harry was too young to argue back. Did you ever hear the story of the knocker? Andrew asked in a sinister tone. The knocker? His brothers replied, looking at Andrew skeptically. Yes, it lives in the mine past the dock. Legend has it that an old man went into the mine once, looking for his dog. And some strange crystal in there changed him. Changed him into what? Rob inquired, already far too interested for his own good. Andrew's face grew wide and animated. No one knows, because everyone who sees him dies. But apparently, he knocks on the wall with a massive stick, and if you hear it, it means he'll get you. Then what happens? asked Rob, nervously.
sick twice in one morning. This time it must be right. matters. One year and eleven months. Home seems so far away now.
as easy as going where you're told and when you're told to go. One more day and then freedom. One more day to the smell of the sea. One more sleep and then home. The soft brown paper with a light inlay from where the ink had been printed. Today, this ticket was as precious as gold itself.
trying for months. Stop trying so hard. Relax and give it time. Not the door do.
joy. A room silenced by the tiniest little person as the doctors hand him over for the first time.
But how would they see the stories? Everything seems backwards now. New York to Plymouth. Ten days at sea. Ten days until everyone heard the stories. The great adventure. Broken, torn, help everyone. Rem 
remember. Fragments torn. Help everyone remember. dementia was originally made. It seems that the symptoms were realized very early on because they were so severe. In a way it was lucky that we got to it so quickly but sadly the condition is growing at an alarming rate. The validation is going well. We're really beginning to express emotions on a regular basis and having the family here means Broken. Help. 
hands broken. Help everyone. Remember, 